Hello everyone and welcome to our online toddler tale session where we are reading Nighttime Bunny. Are you sitting comfy? Are you all snug? Will we get started? Great, let's go. Deep in the wood, in a snuggly burrow, Hungry Bunny was having his supper. It was nearly bedtime and he was slurping the last of his delicious carrot soup. Mummy, do all the animals in the wood go to bed when it gets dark? asked Bunny. No, said Mummy. Some of them sleep during the day and wake up at night. Bunny thought being awake at night sounded very exciting. Please, can I see the animals that come out at night? He asked. I want to be a nighttime bunny. Mummy's knitting needles clicked and clacked. Okay, she said, putting her knitting down. Let's go for a walk together to see the nighttime animals. Bunny couldn't wait to go on his nighttime adventure and he bounced out of the burrow. Outside, sunset sky was orange and pink. It's so beautiful, said Bunny. Keep close, Mummy said as she closed the front door. We need to stick together. Bunny hopped close to Mummy for a while, but then he spotted something strange. And with a hip-hoppity hop, he went over to investigate. There, lying among the flowers, was a strange ball of prickles. Bunny crouched down and sniffed the prickly thing. Suddenly it uncurled. A face and four paws popped out and a little voice squeaked, Hello, I'm Hedgehog. The hedgehog began to roly-poly around on the ground and Bunny joined in. This is fun, he giggled. Then Bunny rolled into Hedgehog and pricked his paw on the prickles. Ouch, that hurt, cried Bunny. Mummy rubbed Bunny's paw. Never mind, she said, leading Bunny along the woodland path. Soon they came to a little pond where a sleeping duck tucked his beak under his wings. The night was full of strange noises. There was hoots and flutters and screeches and barks. What are those noises? asked Bunny nervously. They're night animals, replied Mummy. There's nothing to be afraid of. Suddenly, a great dark shape swooped past Bunny. It was so big and feathery and made strange noises. Swoosh! Twit! Woo! Little Bunny dived into a patch of grass. Mummy, it's a monster, he cried. Don't worry, Bunny, said Mummy. It's just the night owl. He won't hurt you. Bunny wasn't listening to Mummy. He ran hoppity hoppity hop along the shadowy woodland path. Suddenly, something black and white and furry came out of a hole. Thump! Bunny bumped straight into it. Ouch! cried a very grumpy badger. Watch where you're going. Bunny rubbed his sore nose, his little ears dropped and he felt sad. The nighttime animals didn't seem friendly at all. Just then, little fluttery bats flew past. Bunny thought they looked very funny. They whizzed between his ears and round his fluffy white tail. Bunny giggled and chased them round and round. Where are you, Mummy? called Bunny from the woods. Bunny felt so dizzy he didn't know which way was up. He tried to hop, but he wibbled and wobbled until he fell, thump, right onto his bottom. Then between the trees there was a flash of orange. Something stepped out into the moonlight. It was a big red bushy-tailed fox. Well, if it isn't a little bunny, said the sly fox grinning. What are you doing out all alone at this time of night? Suddenly Mummy hopped out from the trees. He's been a nighttime bunny, she cried. The frightened fox leaped off into the wood and Mummy and Bunny were alone again. You mustn't run off like that again, bunny, said Mummy. Can we go home now? asked Bunny sleepily. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Okay, said Mummy, giving him a cuddle. Let's go home then, she said. I'll tuck you up so you're snuggly and warm. In his cosy bunny bed, inside the snuggly bunny burrow, Bunny thought about everything he'd seen in the woods that night. He yawned a little and pulled his blanket up to his chin. 
I think I prefer a daytime bunny, he said. Mummy smiled, kissed him on the forehead and turned off his bedside light. Sweet dreams, my little bunny. I hope you all enjoyed that story and we'll see you again soon. Bye.